What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're back with episode 2 of Killer Frequency. On the last episode we left off having failed to save Russell from the Whistling Man. For those of you who don't know what's going on in this game, the first episode will be linked in the description below. But basically, we have been converted from a radio show to a 911 dispatch center and we are trying to help victims escape a serial killer through a series of choices. Now before we get started, I want to point out that nearly 71% of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you guys like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way towards helping a small content creator like myself grow. Now, with all that aside, let's hop in. Alright, see where we left off last time. Just go get it. That's right, we got this tape we got to play off air from Peggy, is that her name? Um, how do I make sure we are off air? Um, stop that. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. He has an angry color. Oh, Forrest, I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. All right. How do I make sure I'm off air, though? Like, screw it, let's just hit play. Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I don't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. Maybe this is man, the killer then, Final you Breath? Find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Where is oh, it? Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Well, where's reception? Let's go. I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Is it this way to get downstairs, if I remember right? Locked tight. Nope, it's down around the corner, I remember. Downstairs in reception, there should be a package. I need a key to get in there. 
Where's reception? This way? Axe, final decapitation. There's all of this. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. Hope we can still be friends, though. Brad, P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. It sounds like a winner. All right, where's this package at? I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Love, Mom. It's for Jeannie. Here's what that's for. The Rolodex. Stuff. Okay, it's just that stuff falling over. This scared the crap out of me. What the? Genie and Carrie's friendship quiz most likely to peak. Mount Everest, hot David, Kyle, Heather most likely to win award. For worst poker face, Cynthia Scott, Chad, Tammy, most likely to end up in prison. Seth, Jennifer, Lisa, most likely to escape prison. Jennifer Scott, Cynthia, Seth, most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David, Heather, Seth, PTO. Part two. Most likely to pass their driving test without errors. Jimmy, most likely to win an Oscar. Lisa, Tammy, Scott, most likely to beat everyone at go kart Chad, Tammy, Hot David, Scott. Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie. Heather Scott, Timmy Seth. Most likely to end up in a car crash. Tammy Scott, Seth Jennifer. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny oh. collection grows. I was looking for like a tape. I wonder I didn't find it. No wonder. Did you get it? Got it. Got Let's it. Get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, <coughs> is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Where is it? Do I have like an inventory button? There it is, right there, right? Wow. God, Roddy's the best. 
We haven't even said anything yet. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. When you're ready, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today, and man... Being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, but most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife. Come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. And guess what? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got right. all the tapes and master of his <laughs> dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh, no. He'll be dead before long. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Although, having heard that Master Robbie ad earlier, uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. I don't know if I was supposed to play that. Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor. And he stands with our neighbors, like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing. For Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Okay, that My it. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. Here we go. Hundred percent grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Go ahead. That's good. I have to ask though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right. Hello, Who we got? Caller, you're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> who's there? Who is this? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? 
called me? Who's this? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or? <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. I failed one. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan of uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, God. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's like we're hiding. Just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. What's, in? What's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... What's your address? Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. Oh Lord! Well, folks, seems like our Virginia. Well, it's a small town. She's a doctor. I feel like they would know. Takeout to order. Here's some music. You know, for your own where she lives. Snacks. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head, uh, well. There's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponzi's Pizza. That's it, I think. So there's Chalupa Cabras. Was the other Ponzi's Pizza? Hmm. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Right, where's the phone? Any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Chicken. Come on out. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... This guy right here, right? Just have to look around. Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. I remember seeing this earlier when we were looking for the the record. Now we got the key to that other the staff room, I'm assuming. Six beers if Gallows High wins. 
sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Griffin's. We're gonna call off 555-749-8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. A free six-pack? Huh. I wonder how well Gallo's High performed. Hey, find anything useful? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. I'll go and look again. Christ. All right, don't take too long. Virginia needs our help. Sir. Downstairs now and checking that back room. Oh, hey, look. Anything in here? Auntie's pizza. Pretty trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. What is this? I need a key to get in there. What is... I'm not getting in there tonight. What's going on here? Needs a key. Okay. Go Gallows High, I guess. I think that's enough investigation. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get? Oh, I have to guess line? who. Um, no, let's double check one more time because I got. Uh, if right, I don't guess don't who it is. Virginia needs our help. All right, so anybody else? There was three places, right? You had, or two places it delivered, right? Ponty's Pizza. No, you have Chalupa Cabras too. Okay. Have we seen anything from them yet? There's a light in here, by the way. So we got Gallows winning. Chalupa Cabra. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. I'm gonna review Chalupa Cabra, Bradley Carter. We can all agree that the flavors of Profit Chupa Cab Chalupa Cabra are the best in town despite being spicy option offering no deals the el diablo burrito has the mo best mouthfeel and those huevos ranchos are just excellent all the time it's audio media and people won't get this egg an excellent idiot i don't think they deliver though i think they said you can order but All right. I have to guess it's going to be the Grill Reaper. That I mean, best deal. They win. Free six-pack. Get a lot of beer fast. Everybody orders. 
All right, let's go. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Sure. Let's make the call. See if we're okay, Forrest. Show right this time. Down. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Call grilling spray. Okay. The Grill Reaper is on the line. You're through to Grilling Spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. <laughs> uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs, big ribs, for my frat house, brothers. Right. And where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Same address. All right, we'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay, you better tip for this. We do it. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. You're going to love this next track. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order... Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. The frat guys? Forrest Nash. Uh, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Uh, I have a note to call you. Oh, we messed oh, up. Weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways. And a couple of lights on. Uh, everyone's in. Yeah. Oh. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. We messed up. We screwed up. Forrest, line two. Hello. You're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest. All right, maybe we get a second chance to help get her out of here. Oh, my God. It's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk. Oh, We're not very good at this. Poor Virginia. You did your best, Forrest. To everyone listening... I know things look bad, but please don't lose faith. We will stop this whistling man. And I think Virginia may have just given us the clue we need. We did get a name. What was that about Clive I didn't talk? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? 
You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Good for you, friend. I'm glad you're going to ask if you tell me the name. He's going to die. Thank you. Oh, I'm really living the American dream. <laughs> here in my business. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to get a free promo. Love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you asked, Told you. it's Porty's Pizza, the best and only pizza place in town. Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi! Hello? Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah. Way to go, Forrest. I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh... Thanks again, Forrest. I hope that's Molly. Good talking. There it is. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Run. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right. I... Listen, Eugene, breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. Wouldn't there Please, hurry. a maze thing somewhere? Well, downstairs at the desk, right? While Peggy and I deliberate, <clears throat> here's a track for all you lovers out there. Here comes one of my favorites. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. Hold you. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, 
Which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh, Forrest, don't know. I've seen you speak to her. <clears throat> Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Uh, this one. Hey. Yep. Before I saw something down here earlier looking for that record. Right there it is. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Okay, so where is. Before we get far, where is the exit? Uh, beehives, corn, mini barn, farmer, scarecrow, pitchfork, horse, pixie, tractor. Okay, so. found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. Okay, He's I see the exit. One. He's up there. Uh, line one. Okay. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16 The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. Dr. Stashew is at one. Painted gold on my right. Hay bales on his right. Facing a tractor statue. So up there on your right, you need to go left. Go left. In front of me. Okay. Pig statue in front, rocking horse on left. So there. So that means he's right there. So he still needs to go. Pig statue in front. Right's a dead end. Go forwards is a bad idea. Right? Backwards? Go backwards. Oh, Why didn't I just invite her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? How the heck did he get up there? He's at a crossroads. His pitch go. Oh, I see. I was going the wrong way. Okay. Go left. Go left. Dude, got a chainsaw coming after him? Barn in front of me. Barn in front of. Scarecrow behind, me. Barn in front of. Scarecrow behind would be six, right? So then he's facing there. He needs to turn right. Go right. I can't run much more. This ten. 
I just passed the ads. A cord and silo. Didn't see anything else. Where do I go? That's a corn silo. Didn't see anything else. Doesn't really... Well, he would have came... Go left. Go left. Not very good directions. No, no, I'm going back to where I was. No, no, no. Jesus! Oh shit! He's cutting through the walls. Where do I go? Go forward. Okay, I'm going. Wait, no! You don't have to do this. I failed again. It doesn't t give you good enough directions. Stupid kid. What the hell was he doing out? Yeah. I don't he know. just listened. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. And thank you for calling in Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. We're going to go ahead and end it there. Um, hopefully on the next episode I do a little bit better job saving people's lives and stop letting them die. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.